y'all, I'm Haley. I'm Ryan. And you are in the Brewing Happiness Test Kitchen, and today we're talking about how to cut melons. We got asked this question about how to cut large fruit, specifically melons, so we thought we would answer it here. Okay. Um, I think that there are a lot of kind of hacky, like food hack ways to cut melons on the internet. And this is not that video. This is like, you're in your kitchen, you're a real human being, this is how you cut a melon into cubes. Yeah, it's straightforward. Yeah, very straightforward. We'll show you how to do it on a watermelon and a cantaloupe Cantalope. so that you know how to do it with uh, fruit that has seeds inside versus um, like a watermelon where the seeds are evenly distributed. We're just gonna get to it. No need for fluff. Uh, so for a watermelon, we'll start there. Um, uh, you'll cut the ends off, so that like little part where the stem comes and then the other side of that. Just to square it off so that you have surface. Have a flat surface. Yeah, so you have a flat surface so it doesn't roll around on you. Uh, and then also you can see the rind and the inside and where those two things meet and we'll Basically give you... Basically how thick the rind is yeah. because you're going to be cutting it off so you can get a good yeah. estimate of how much you need to cut off. So you'll cut off the top and bottom, gauge how thick the rind is, and then from there you're going to use just the tip of yeah. your chef's knife and run it along the curve of your watermelon. You're just taking off the rind. You don't really want to take off the flesh but you just run it in the, kind of that semicircle shape. And you'll do this all around the watermelon until your rind is completely off and you just have the flesh left. If you see any bits of green rind or anything like that, you can just give that um, a quick peel with the knife. So now you have a naked melon and you're ready to cut it into cubes. Because melons are pretty large, if you want to cut it in half, um, so that you have something that's like more manageable in size, we suggest doing that. Uh, so if you have a smaller watermelon, you'd start just by cutting off one of the sides so that you can put it down flat so it doesn't rock on you while you're cutting it into cubes or whatever the size piece that you're looking for. Um, and then you would go down and slice some planks, uh, turn that over and then continue on cubing like we do in our uh, dice video. When he says dice video, he means the 11 cuts everyone should know. I'll link to that video below. Going to a cantaloupe or even a honeydew would be the same thing. Um, you follow the first two steps of cutting off the ends, seeing where the peel is or the rind, uh, and then using the front part of your knife to sort of follow the curve of the melon around, and then cut that in half. Uh, and use a spoon to just scoop out any of the inside seeds. Uh, and then you would turn that down onto its flat surface so it's not rocking. Angling your knife, follow the curve of the melon around uh, in the size cube that you want. Uh, and then turn that and then cut across. And that's... The method for why you're angling the knife um, is something that Ryan talks about in his How to Cut an Onion video. It's kind of a similar thing. It's basically to keep the shape of the cubes similar in size. So you can yeah. check that out. We'll link to that below. The other thing that we should mention is that when we um, cut melons, we like to put towels down underneath our cutting board, which will just like catch any runoff juices so that you don't have like a large mess in your kitchen, which I think is part of the thing that makes yeah. cutting melons hard. Yeah, also it helps um, stabilize your cutting board. All right, uh, that's all we got this time. If you have any other questions about cutting specific things or just like general kitchen yeah. stuff. Ask away. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Um, and until next time, I'm Haley. I'm Ryan. And we're Making, Making Healthy, Healthy Happen. happen.